<coughs> by 699 falling squares on an infinite infinity no infinite number line we drop given squares in the order they're given the i square drop uh, positions i equals left side length is a square of the leftmost point position i zero and side length i plus one okay you just have a square that starts from that point and it's a length of the length um, the squares drop it on we wait for each square to st stick before dropping the next the squares are infinitely sticky on the bottom side uh, and will remain fixed to any positive length surface they touch um, and squares drop adjacent to each other will not stick together prematurely okay we turn the list ends of heights each height uh, represents the current highest height of any square we drop after dropping squares represented by position zero and zero okay. Let's see. So the first one we have uh, okay, maximum. Okay. okay, so we just have to return the maximum height and in this one it just sticks, so the height is five. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, Yeah, so this is just, um, this seems to me just to be a, uh, oh, wait, 255, what is 255? Maybe I switched by this. Um, you have to return a list of them. Current highest height of me after we drop. Okay. Uh, I was going to say this is just um, uh, interval merging uh, or interval overlap interval overlapping detection or something like that uh, essentially what you are doing is is you know, giving some ranges you just kind of uh, uh, come up, you know, see how they get dropped uh, the extra yeah the extra kind of fun part is that uh, usually you get to sort them but in this case because uh, uh, these defense, um, yeah, these defense are actually uh, happen in time. So, for example, you can imagine uh, you drop it, you drop one to the left, drop one to the right, and they build a table. So, so it, it so it it is order sensitive uh, in that case. Um, but let's see. And they only up to a thousand places, so we could so we could keep track that way. Uh, what is the users way? Okay, so hmm. I think what I'm thinking right now is uh, like. If there's only a thousand elements, do we have to do better than quadratic, right? Uh, like, I, you know, I don't want to prematurely optimize. Uh, and usually when I get these kind of questions, I would try to think about, you know, linear time or at most n log n times. Uh, but maybe if, if n is only a thousand, uh, maybe it's okay, right? Maybe it's okay to uh, do an n squared Album and just do a scan line. But I'm also trying to think if this is a hard, um, why would you need a like? Like, like, if you, like the naive n square algorithm is just for every uh, uh, cube that you drop, you do the math right, and see where that goes. Um, but is that can that potentially be too slow? Um, if you have essentially, I mean, n is a thousand, but that means you have two thousand endpoints, and with overlapping things, that might create even more. Perhaps I don't. Hmm. How do I feel about this? Ah, 
may have any scribble trap out there. So this is just a running count. Um, So you can do a binary. I want to say that um, if you have a good in uh, a data structure, you could do a binary search on the left and the right. Uh, and is that good enough? No, because you could have a bigger square that. Uh, uh, but you can imagine there's a one by one square, but then on top of that is a three by three square, so then that does not help at all, even though it overlaps with the one by one. Um, but, hmm, that's an interesting thing. Hmm. I think the question is, do I just do the linear thing and then see what happens? Um, well, not linear, but, but like the uh, iterative uh, uh, thing, it's a possible button, uh, and then see what happens. Um, so it's potentially n squared, you look at all of them, but then you have to is n square fast enough? Eh, maybe it's fast enough. Alright, let me put that out then. Um, hmm. I'm still thinking about it a little bit. Yeah, let's code up the naive one first and then we'll kind of see where that takes us. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, so we could get some max and then it somehow. Okay. I will here it actually gets tricky because the max is I guess each square previously just has a height. Yeah, okay. Um mm. Yeah, maybe that's not so bad.
see the, oh, let's start with the first one, the base case with this. Of maps in any way. So what, what, what does it mean to be overlap? If one of the coins is different to the other, okay. Uh, there, may, may, there may be some edge cases of you could say in like this, but uh, uh, we'll do this now. Mm. I think the, the tricky thing I'm, I have to consider is that um, you can't just do a naive, I mean, you can for one square, but then you have these chains that uh, you have to consider and you can't just add them. So you have to take, if it overlaps with that, then you have to take, take account of time. Okay, that should be okay, actually. Something like that, it overlaps. Uh, let's say it just overlaps. So then, I if you can do this. Yeah, and this is the max height of this previous square, which is not the same as max. Let's see what that gives us. Okay. Oops. Oh. 
Oops. Вот. Да. О. That looks okay on that one, but that's a pretty straightforward one. I think there is definitely edge, uh, 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 tricky cases that might not be apparent, even in this one as well. But, um, oh, yeah, this, okay. Uh, uh, um, the if statements, but that's fine. I'm going to fix that. Uh, Yeah, but not super confident about this to be honest. Uh, so I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more. Um, and okay, well at least it works for test cases. Uh, but now let's say you have um, hmm. let's say you have cases where you have a giant one and then just change them. Hmm, well, why is this game one? Oh, I think that's right. I didn't know that was true. I guess it's true. No god. So, hmm, looks okay, maybe. Uh, now let's see what happens when we add. Some more. Um, I mean, I can't tell this is the same. Mm -hmm. It looks roughly the same. So, I just, uh, I should test some empty cases and stuff like this. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that works uh, pretty straightforwardly. Uh, oh, Jesus, not some step over. But uh, yeah, uh, I think my kind of hesitation on this problem was that, um, yeah, I don't understand it uh, in that, or like the quadratic equation is pretty straightforward, and uh, I think the trickiest part about this problem, and maybe a little gotcha -y if you haven't done these interval uh, overlapping problems is kind of this part to check whether they're overlapping. Uh, and once you kind of get that part of the logic out, it's literally just just kind of keep track of where things were and where things are. And I actually, I I think for, um, like, I'm, I'm now I'm thinking what happens if I was an interviewer and I, would I give this form? I probably wouldn't give this form. I'm not generally a fan of skylines and stuff like this. And I think interval, these things are like a little, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're in style, but I I don't know what it tests for me. Um, and I, can I even do better than any time? I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this, but I, but I could also see this being asked in general. So I would definitely do that. But I think having a quadratic uh, 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 one-time problem is always a little iffy because... I don't know, I mean, not all the time, but, it's just, but for these things where maybe you could do it in linear time, then I don't, I don't know. Uh, and, and for me, I'm actually not, still not convinced whether you can do it faster or not, uh, but it is sufficient. And, they, and, it, and the only thing that convinces me is that it's within the 1,000 pounds, so I don't know. But okay, 